So this is 2018 Sea Otter. It's my favourite trip of the year. We're going to have loads of videos showing you all the cool new tech and everything we see here at Sea Otter. Yeah, and to keep it a bit more fun, we're going to spend the morning trying to get the five coolest bits of tech we can get. Try and get a selfie with someone interesting out there. Something interesting. And we're going to see if we can blag something as well. All right, let's do it. Santa Cruz got some cool stuff. Ah, oh, they snaked us. Okay, so the Santa Cruz stand checking out Dan McCaskill's custom carbon fiber 24 inch street trials bike. So it's also got the custom reserve 24 inch rims on there, whole bunch of other cool products, especially made for Danny. And it's about four pounds lighter than his existing inspired bike that he already used to use. So I had to totally relearn how to ride this bike. Also note something cool, the custom 24 inch Continental tires on there. Pretty sweet ride this one. So we're at Fox Racing Shocks and uh, last year we saw the Stepcast 32 come out, super lightweight. They've also moved that Stepcast technology up to their 34, only in 120 mil travel, keep that fork nice and stiff, but it actually loses half a pound of weight from the standard 34. So think of trail bikes or BC bike race style marathon bikes, that fork is super light, 120 mil travel. So whilst the 36 and the 40 still look the same, they've actually been upgraded to have that grip two sealed cartridge damper. So they've actually got a four-way adjustable rebound and compression damping. In fact, their one is by itself. So just walking past the fabric stand and just notice these really cool 50 to one grips. They're so new, we don't really know much about them yet other than they lock on, they follow the same pattern as some of the existing fabric grips. And more importantly, they're mushroom pattern. So good, that's so like old school BMX style. Mega comfortable, they're gonna be really popular. Now I found something really interesting, and it's not that road bike, actually, it's this bike over here. Who needs a seat? We all know seats are for lazy people, and who needs nice, lightweight little pedals? Check that out, the Elliptigo. No seat, massive pedals, and the brakes are the wrong way around. That's the least of my problems. Get it, bro! <laughs> Would you believe me if I said that the pedals are very grippy? So just got the Yeti stand checking out their new SB100. Now this is one of the new breed of XC bikes. It's running a 120 mil fork on the front, 100 mil travel out back. And of course it's got their popular switch Infinity system, but it's actually been shrunken down slightly on this particular bike. And it's actually tucked up behind the seat tube there, just by the bottom bracket. We'll see that in a second. And it's got a real cool custom flap there just to keep the mud away from it. That is a seriously good bike. Now the thing I especially like about this is it's making people rethink what an XC bike is. This is actually probably quite reflective of what most people out there should ride. What do you guys think about short travel bikes? Personally, I think they're the future. GT have got some really interesting bikes on this little stand. We've got some really cool old prototypes. Check out that Gearbox bike from 1996. I vaguely remember seeing Hans Ray posing for that bike. And then some of the bikes from my childhood, the RTS, the LTS, my friend had one of those. It's even got a DCD on there, check that out keeping your chain nice and tight. An STS Lobo, I actually had a Lobo myself. I raced in 99, I think on one of these. Lovely old bikes. So here on a Goodyear stand, checking out the new range of mountain bike specific tires. They've got a Peak here, which is more of an XC lightweight tire, super fast rolling compound and casing on that. Then you've got the Escape, a bit more of a trail based tire and all rounder if you like. They do these all in 27 and half and 29 inch size. But the ones that are in really interesting to us at the moment are the Newton and Newton ST. So that's more of a, a front based tire, a bit more open paddle design there. And you've got the rear style tire with those paddles for traction available in 2.4, 2.6, 27.5, 29 inch. Really, really quite a soft compound on these. Really looking forward to trying these actually because I think it's going to be a really, really good and popular tire for 2019. So as you know, we are sponsored by Continental Tires. Uh, of course, they're a motorsport company, so it's really, really cool to see Goodyear coming in, yet another motorsport company, bringing in all that tire tech they've had from over the years. I reckon these are going to be really, really popular. So this is the common style meta. You may recognize that frame shape, but this is actually the prototype 29er version. So the team are racing their own versions, but if you check it out, it looks very similar to the meta AM over there. You see everything's a little bit more pinched at the head tube. Top tube down tube comes together, looks really nice. Also that linkage looks a little bit bigger and a stunning paint job on this bike. Check this out. So Specialized is celebrating the 
basically the specialized stump jumper, their first proper mountain bike. This one here from 1981. Been looking at all this retro stuff recently. And look, actually, it's quite a progressive design. Look at the head angle on that. It's probably in the region of 67, 67 and a half, something like that. Long chain stays on there. The original sort of wide alloy rims. You've gone full circle, of course. You can see that stuff on all the modern bikes today. Short stem, huge, big, wide bars, massive four finger brake levers for all that leverage you need. And old school cantilever brakes. Man, this is where it started. What a cool bike. And then they're doing exactly the same thing now with a very modernized stump jumper here, which is available in a few different options. You've got 27 and a half, you've got 29. And by changing the shock and the yoke design on there, you can have a short travel and long travel option. So there's something there for every type of trail rider. How's your, your swag coming on today? Well, I'm still empty handed, but I've been too busy finding cool mountain bike tech, Doddy. Oh, that's right? cool. Yeah, I've got some pretty good tech. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I've not been looking at getting free stuff. Yeah. Part of having is just kind of being flying my way. Have you met Seth? Uh, not yet, no. I did see him right past earlier on. I got a selfie. Done. Thank you. So Fox, unbelievably, have promised me a truck. Check it out, it's like a thousand horsepower, it's amazing. Yes. Ah. Ah, well, it's all right, it's all right. It's all right. Check this out, this is the brand new Crank Brothers Mallet DH pedal, but the Super Bruni edition with an asymmetrical colorway that was voted for. There was 10,000 people in the vote and this is what everyone went for. Personally, I absolutely love that finish. Look at that, having your own name on a pedal. So this is Trex Full Stash 8. Quite an unusual bike actually, it's a 29 plus bike. It's a real sort of backcountry adventure bike. But what they've really worked hard on is shortening the chainstays of this bike, so it still makes it feel like a lively trail bike. So to do that, they've actually sort of rotated everything around. They've got this pivot in front of that seat tube. Also, this link sits further forward than any of the other bikes you'll see. And actually, the chainstay length on this bike is shorter than any other bike they do. The only one that's shorter is their 26-inch wheel slope-style bike. So incredible piece of engineering there, and a bike that's really built for getting out into that back country. They've actually worked with this Durango company, Bedrock Bags, to make some custom frame bags that you can get out there, take all your stuff with you, and get lost in the wilds. So how did your, uh, your swag collecting go? I've come away pretty much empty-handed. How about yourself? Uh, not too bad, actually. Right. Yeah, I've got like um, one of these little Velo Insurance bottle openers. It's quite nice. In fact, I've got another bottle opener from uh, pubwheels.com. Bit of a pub theme going on. Got one of these really nice uh, camo windbreaker jackets from Crank Brothers. That is nice. Oh, actually, I like it. I've got two of those, yeah. They're quite keen on giving me a couple That one is my size, by the way. Oh, we'll see about that. I've also got a really nice... Uh, Beer koozie as well. Yeah. Into that. You don't want your beers to overheat in this temperature. And a couple of real cool 25 year anniversary GT t shirts as well. Retro. The original retro colours. I saw those bikes. Pretty good. Lovely. That's an LTS. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And also, um, I went to see Scott at Ibis Bikes and he's got some pretty rare beers and he gave me a couple of these double strength IPAs. Well, funny you say that. The only, one only thing I did get free is a bottle over. Ah, that's coming handy, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Not just how many bottles. So, uh, Want to share it anyway? If you want to see some more videos, keep your eyes peeled. We've got loads more tech videos coming. There's loads of great new bikes and bits of tech here, and they'll be coming very soon. And if you want to see this week's Ask GMBN, click up there. And if you want to see a good maintenance video, we've got Tubeless 101 down there. Give us a thumbs up if you like your mates that give you free beer. <laughs>